welcome, welcome to my Let's Play. My name is Emily Ann Pagel, and today we are going to be testing out a game for the Atari 2600, Espial. Now, Espial was published in 1983 by Tiger Vision and developed by the Orca Corporation. I am not really familiar with the developer. Uh, I do know of the name Tiger Vision, but I couldn't tell you off the top of my head a game specifically that was published by them without doing a little bit of research. Um, SBL is a shoot 'em up type game. It looks from the graphics and box art that I've seen to be something pretty similar to like Galaga or Space Invaders or Centipede. So uh, for me, uh, growing up playing those games in arcades, I'm definitely interested to see how this is going to hold up and compare to them. The description on the back of the box for this game is that you are a space attack pilot flying at death range over the galactic starship. Your mission, while defending yourself against the never-ending oncoming defense squadrons, is to destroy the starship with your cursor scope missiles. Watch out for the starship's atomic cannons aimed at you. So I am pretty interested to see exactly how we're going to do this, what it's going to look like graphic wise. Um, and let's see if there's going to be any good music involved. I know that with the Atari being pretty um, simplistic that there's not a whole lot involved. So let's go ahead without further ado and go ahead and check this out. So I am going to be playing on an emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen. Let's go ahead and power on our Atari. All right, and here we go, friends. So, oh, let's see. Reset, reset, my friend. Game reset. All right, it looks like we're having some technical difficulties. Let me see again. Here we go. All right. So as you can see, um, we got some very interesting pastel type colors happening. And we are already dead. Well, my friends, that's quite disappointing. Let's go ahead and try again. Um, it looks like you pretty much can move forward. Um, I don't really see the benefit of that as you can see I am not great at this game I think the background's almost a little bit too distracting for me as pretty as it, the colors are um, I just keep running into things so um, let's try to focus a little bit more and see what we can do um, I will say shooting seems really straight. Mm. I will say shooting seems pretty straightforward, but, um, you know, we're just not set up for this kind of gaming, I suppose. Um, so there's definitely some boxes. It looks like I've hit the starship now. Um. Oh, and we have a different background. I don't think that I would have known that that was a ship had I not read the description on the box. Um, I don't want to say that that's bad, um, but at the same time, I just, I don't really think I grasp the concept that they're going for with it. And um, we did get a high score of 650, so I'm not going to really complain too much. I would say the game itself, uh, I, I like the colors and I like the background, but it's so distracting. I mean, as, as maybe a desktop wallpaper or something like that, wonderful. Um, as a game, I, I don't know what to focus on, I think. And there doesn't... 
necessarily seem to be a direct connection on what I'm supposed to be shooting to actually be to go to the next level like obviously there are the ships that are coming at you and things shooting at you um, but I don't think that I knew that I was supposed to click that box and shoot it to get to the next level um, I guess we would just have to try some more levels, uh, try some more tries to get a little bit farther and not get shot to know that. Um, the music, I would say not bad, but it is very infuriating for me, I think, to have to sit there and wait for that intro music to finish playing before I can actually start. Um, so the only audio that you are actually getting after that intro music is if you die or when you're shooting something. There's no really BGM in the background um, to kind of keep you motivated to move forward. Uh, I think that's something that would have been kind of nice. But again, for the time era, I suppose it kind of fits in with what I would expect. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely interested in trying this a little bit more, uh, see if we can get some better levels, and, uh, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, once again, my name is Emily Pagel. Um, go ahead and, uh, give me a shout out in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. If you have any tips or tricks for this game, I would love to know more. Uh, once again, Emily and Pagel, um, and thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day, friends.